Well, you may have had Google Pay and now you have Google Wallet. But then again, you may have had Google Wallet, gone to Google Pay, and now have Google Wallet back again. Are you confused? Well, Google's confused. The credit card companies are confused. So let's watch this video where I try to make sense of this. It's Ron Brown with Tech for Senior, where we make videos to help explain technology. We have over 700 videos on our YouTube channel, and they are all royalty free for you to use. All we ask is that you give us that little like, and if you would like to be informed when we create new videos, just click that subscribe and we'll send you a notification. Now let's get on with Google Wallet. Mobile transactions is a multi-billion dollar business. Google is running a distant last. Apple is captivating this at 92% of all mobile transactions, followed by Samsung at 5% and Google at 3%. A lot of this, I feel, is because of confusion on how Google Pay and Google Wallet works. So let me try and explain that today in this video. Since 2011, Google has had Google Wallet and then Google Pay and then had different versions of this in different countries. And this has become very confusing as it's changed over the past years. Primarily, Google Pay is a service linking your electronic device to a credit card. This allows a secure transaction to occur through your existing credit card without any identification of personal data. Google Wallet is really a storage area for your loyalty cards, gift cards, secure card payments. As this has progressed uh, over the past uh, 10, 15 years, it is different in different countries. And this has all been made more confusing by the recent changes at Google and no real clear leadership on a, a, a path they want to take. So let me try and make sense of this as we move ahead. So the relationship between Google Wallet and Google Pay depends on what country you're in in 2022. For example, in Canada now, Google Pay is being replaced by Google Wallet. And if you had Google Pay on your phone, it, you will now notice that it just turned into Google Wallet. This depends, it's different in the United States where you both have Google Wallet and Google Pay still. So it really is country specific and you'll have to sort that out depending on which country you live in. But at present in Canada and many countries around the world, Google Wallet now encompasses Google Pay. So Google Pay and Google Wallet are the same thing, but it's been branded with the Google Wallet symbol. So I take my credit card and I go and I tap and pay, but I don't hit the right area to tap. Darn it, it won't work. If my credit card's been sitting in my wallet for over a year, well, it sometimes doesn't work either. And I have to keep tapping and tapping on the stupid machine and it doesn't work. I am so happy that I now have Google Pay, well, actually Google Wallet, on my phone. So I now can just take my cell phone and I just bring it up within an inch of the machine and bingo, it works. Different technology than, than tap and pay with your card because you're not tapping and paying with your phone. It's using NFC, near field communication, which is just a proximity. You just bring this within a, probably about an inch of the machine and bingo, it, it, the transaction is complete. Not only is the transaction complete, but it is a secure transaction and your personal information, such as credit card name and number is not given to the vendor. So this adds a big level of security. I'm amazed as I've been going around the last month watching how many people are actually using their phone for a transaction. I'm also using my wa watch. That is even better when you can use your watch 
for this because I don't have to get my phone out. So what I've just described is a payment service you can use, and, and most people, 92%, are using Apple Pay, but of course there's uh, Samsung Pay and Google Pay. Google Wallet is more encompassing and of course involves uh, not only storing all your loyalty cards, your passports, your, uh, your driver's license, your vaccination cards, but also Google wants it to be a secure financial service that you can use to send money to peer to peer or to send it to different banks or different countries. So this is going to grow as Google adds more services to the Google Wallet. Who can use Google Wallet? I'm going to look at three devices. I'm going to look at a PC. I'm going to look at a mobile device. And then I'm going to look at a watch. So let's start with the mobile device. So Google Wallet can be used on any Android phone. This means it's available on all Android, including Samsung phones. This is different than Samsung Pay, which of course can only be used on a Samsung phone. Google Wallet can also be used on an iPhone, but not for credit card purchases. You can use it for peer-to-peer -peer transactions with other Google accounts, but not credit card services. When we look at smartwatches, things get a little more tricky. And currently there are seven smartwatches that allow Google Wallet to be used. And I'll put that list below. So the first question I always get is, what about the Fitbit Sense? That's a watch I always talk about. It's made by Google. Isn't Google Wallet available? Well, no, it's not. In fact, you have to use Fitbit Pay. Fitbit Pay is very limiting, and in Canada, uh, none of the credit cards for major banks will really work on it. Uh, it's very limited in its scope, a little more available in the United States but Google Wallet is not available on the Fitbit Sense. But of course, the Galaxy Watch 4 made by Samsung, it is available and will work on the Galaxy Watch 4. It is not available on the Apple Watch. Now the Fitbit 2 Sense has been announced and Google says that Google Wallet will be available for the Fitbit Sense 2 at some time in the future, but not at time of release. So if you're planning that as a purchase, I would hold off until they actually get the software developed. The new watch coming out this fall, of course, will be the Pixel Watch. And of course, rumor has it that the Google Wallet will be available on the Pixel Watch. Yay, that'll be great. So let's look at a PC. So Google Wallet or the Storage Center is not really available on a PC. But when I talk about a PC, it could be Linux, it could be Apple, or it could be a Windows PC. Anywhere where Chrome is being used and you have a Google account, you have the ability to use Google Pay. Now, what it's a little bit different on a PC because what actually happens is you go to your Google account and in the payment center of your Google account, you can enter your credit card numbers. Within the Chrome browser, you then have the ability to autofill your credit card information in an online transaction. So in summary, you would you, it's not an app and you would actually set this up through the Google payment center within your Google account and then use the autofill feature in Google Chrome. So there's going to be incredible growth in the financial services that Google has to offer over the next few years. I would really encourage you to use Google Pay or Google Wallet, whichever country you're in, on your smartphone or better yet, your watch. It's great. So let's watch carefully as the competition heats up, as PayPal, your own banks, Google Wallet, Google Pay, Apple Pay all compete for the big financial market in electronic transactions. It's Ron Brown with Tech for Senior. I hope this video has helped clarify Google Pay and Google Wallet. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Until we see you again, have a great day.